I always I always forget how to say it. Sied was the video that oh, you did with it. Siest. When I used to be a small kid, like, or I think people, kids still do it, like, you, you would take a stick and, like, walk around fences and, like, do this sort of thing. Or, like, usually just use this, like, extension of your hand and, like, try, like, hey, what's this? Like, and, like, first you would, like, protrude with, like, a little stick or something. And suddenly, like, now it's the phone in a lot of the cases. The way I would hold it like this, that it's just, like, doing kind of the same thing. Like for me, that video is a lot about surveillance in a very twisted way, I guess. Like, cause if you think of artworks about surveillance, it will be mostly like films edited out of CCTV, like cameras and this kind of aesthetic. At some point, like every meter square will be like covered either by a satellite or by cameras on houses or by people just having cameras on their devices and constantly recording it. And you know that all these images are stored and then we also know that there's the potential that they will be all analyzed. With CST, for example, what I wanted to do is to produce an image which is really hard to analyze. I would oppose the CS to like the HD sort of, mm -hmm. that you could also talk, you could kind of talk about like HD aesthetic. The camera is sort of HD, right, for a phone, but because of the way it's treated, it's the compression algorithm and all these things made it image collapse in a bit. And sometimes it has this like different sort of feeling that's like very like bumpy and bubbly and stuff. It was also post-produced in some ways, so sometimes it's like extremely sharpened to show exactly how these pixels are like tearing the image apart. Mm -hmm. So like certainly like the process that is between the recording and the viewing, where it's like all these like compressions and like like mechanisms that try to stabilize the image a little bit maybe and so on and so on. Suddenly like actively participate very much to the final look of the thing. Mm -hmm. The video is very much like overwhelming, but like I think that it kind of takes you in very fast. This brutal act of what is happening there is also much better magnified. Or like the um, the mailbox video. Yeah, I, I wonder how different would be your opinion if you would find out like, oh, Martin has been to my mailbox. <laughs> like the mailbox has this like hole and like, I would always put the phone there, like, like ride around, scan it, take it out and like do it very mechanically. Like I would just call my friends like, hey, can I come over and visit your hallway in the house and like what and then i would come there they would open the door i would not they would come down sometimes i'd be like hey hi how are you doing but they're like you want to come over for tea no 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 thanks i just like do this thing don't ask me too much i would like quickly like do like all the mailboxes and like hey i have to go to the next meeting sorry and of course i was always afraid that if somebody would see me and be like what are you doing and i'll be like oh you know i'm like an artist i it, this is harmless i'm not really trying to um, break into your privacy or private space or something. And then it would find out like, but you have, your phone is full of videos of people's mailboxes. Like what are you talking about? Right. So it would be like, even I would be like, look, it's just like a video. It looks like this. Isn't it nice? It'd be like, but why do you have like 50 of these? So I thought like, I really have to be quite careful not to get caught. That one part, exactly. I was like, oh, somebody's coming down. So I was like, really fast. Right now, I have been looking a lot into like how GoPro brands the cameras. They call them hero, and the slogan that comes with it is "Be a hero." So, what the message is actually not like "Go out and make nice images." The message is like "Go out and do something." These cameras are becoming part of an experience rather than 
like a documentation through looking at things. Reading this book, Lorenzis, they're talking about like power and public knowledge and how that sort of idea of tr those two things relate together to produce truth. In the same way, it's like being a hero. You have to capture things that are beyond what somebody's captured before because they're technically capable of achieving that. Like yeah. those videos you sent me of the firefighters. Fire camp. Like At the same time, in the case of fire camps and these sort of extreme situations, there is this combination of like the person carrying the camera is aware of also making an aesthetic image, even though that it's not composing the image. Like the the carrier usually knows like, okay, this might look really good on camera or something. But then at the same time, the firemen probably like, this is the thing they think about the last because they just like, they're standing in a house that is in fire and stuff. Often people like suddenly think like, okay, you can capture things with the GoPro camera. Like for example, a lot of people, like when they're doing, when they do cartooning, they attach the cameras under the hood or they attach it on a very like unusual angle and then they drive around with the car and so on. And you would start thinking like, okay, it's like starting to present this view that is like not so much a human person. Perspective. I think that there's like then a little bit like a problem because I think it's something in between very much. The camera still works as a camera for humans to look at the outcome of it. And so it has like a specific format that is like 16 to 9 that relates to our vision and relates to our habits of looking at things. A really nice example that one of the students brought up when I was doing the talk about this recently was like, oh, have you seen this? video when they put the GoPro camera on the head of a cow. And I was like, no, I haven't seen it. But then we watched it and I realized the most amazing thing is that we have like much more limited angle of vision than animals like cows. We turn our head towards what we're looking at. So like the camera is sort of constantly moving, which is very strange. With the GoPro cameras that people often think like, okay, this is like, like something that is more objective. But actually it's like, of course not that extreme it's like mm. something in between it's so bound to the body because it's mostly carried by a human body or attached to like a bicycle or something that the body is still connected to it's like close to your own viewpoint but just a little bit aside <laughs> Joy and frenzy.